yourself some love this Valentine's Day by watching out for your own health. Dr. James Pickney with Diamond Physicians is joining us with five ways you can have a healthy Valentine's Day. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you too. You have your gifts together for your wife? I've got the gifts. Okay. They came via Amazon, so she oh. tried to open them. But I've, I've got them wrapped up, so we're good to go. Well, good for you. Let's talk about how we can make sure that we have a healthy Valentine's Day. I mean, it sounds kind of, it's like, oh, Valentine's Day, you want to do the chocolate and the wine and all that good stuff. Do I have to be health conscious on well, Valentine's Day? I've got a couple of tips that you can do that are pretty simple. Number one, you can go with uh, a fruit arrangement instead of a box of candy. They've got these mm. fruit arrangements now that look like a bouquet of flowers. Yeah. Melon, pineapple, strawberries. So that's a great, great option. Like those edible arrangements, right? That's what they, those folks do exactly. over there. So. And if you have to have chocolate, then I want you to go with 72% raw cocoa in whatever chocolate product that you buy. Uh -huh. Cocoa has a lot of uh, healthy properties, antioxidants to help with cardiovascular prevention. Uh, it has, it can boost your serotonin levels to create a blissful mood. Uh, so there's a lot of things that, that cocoa can do. Good for your nails, good for your hair. So that's a, that's a great uh, option. So, well. so look for 72% or higher, because I know when you get to like 90 something, yeah. it really, really, really is like a bitter taste, it, but it, I know it's it good for you. It, it is very good for you. And then okay. of course, you can get active. So instead of going to the traditional dinner and a movie, you can actually go for a walk and, and end your date with a nice romantic picnic. That's a great option as well. You know who did something like that recently? Hillary and her husband. They went, uh, like, was it a hike, Hillary? Yes. Yeah, they went on a hike. It, it looks so romantic in their pictures. You can check it out on her Instagram page, but they did something active uh, for Valentine's Day. That's fantastic. Yeah. And I know we talked about wine, but I want you to watch out for your, for your intake on alcohol. So you can have oh. one glass for a female, uh -huh. two glasses for a male. It's good for cardiovascular protection. But if you go more than that, that, that's going to be uh, detrimental to your health. So red or white, or does it matter? I like red. has uh -huh. less sugar content, content than white. Mm -hmm. uh, so red is always going to be a better choice for your heart than, than white. Okay, and our last bit of advice, cooking at home. Absolutely. So a lot of times this is a huge restaurant day tomorrow for a lot of restaurants. Uh, you're going to have a lot of heavy sauces, heavy mm -hmm. creams, very delicious dishes. But if you eat at home, you can use less oil or cook with olive oil uh -huh. and prepare a very a natural, fresh ingredient meal. All right, Dr. James, we love having you in the building, and that's how you can have a very healthy and still, I think, romantic Valentine's Day. Absolutely. Back to you, Oliver.